All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We're back with another video and back with another uh, special sealed to revealed edition uh, with some great reissues uh, just out. Uh, this is uh, Alice Cooper Schools Out and Alice Cooper Killer. These are the uh, anniversary uh, reissues and both three LP sets uh, featuring, of course, the original studio album and uh, live stuff as well. So uh, we're going to uh, take a look inside. Let's start off with Schools Out because this is the one that's going to be, you know, certainly with the packaging and all of the goodies uh, kind of thing. Uh, so the hype's sticker uh, 50th anniversary edition and according to uh, brutally honest rock album reviews the quote here is schools out is a piece of pure insurrectionary rock genius uh, so as mentioned the original album remastered plus a previously unreleased live 1972 show and studio extras pays homage to the original packaging including the legendary panties and it says in brackets on the hype sticker non-flammable this time <laughs> All right, so there's the back there, and uh, yeah, I'll take the shrink off so we can get a better look at it. But these are, uh, yeah, three LP sets. And I, th I think with Alice Cooper, I've been uh, Im impressed with uh, some of the reissue series. They seem to be doing these up right quite nicely. Okay, so let's uh, take this off and uh, take a look inside. Of course, uh, yeah, as everyone knows, the original album uh, contained uh, these... Uh, inner sleeve uh, in, in the shape of panties that was then quickly removed for whatever reason. Some of the excuses was that it was, you know, it was flammable, even though you're dealing with cardboard jackets, paper sleeves initially, but uh, oh, heaven forbid, uh, some of the packaging. So again, you know, the classic uh, schools out to cover, and then we've got the track listing there with the extra stuff. Very nice. And as you can see, it looks like an old school board desk and that it would open up uh, this way, I believe. Yeah. And you don't want to open up too much and crease <laughs> with the crease break here. Hopefully you can get a look at that. So that could open right up. As you see, it sort of bends along there like an old school desk, complete with the inkwell in the corner there. Yeah, and just uh, I love Alice Cooper covers. There's, they have so much fun with it, so much attention to detail. Okay, so that I believe, okay, so then this one, so that they have this like right on the cover and then it opens up like this with plenty of liner notes. Look at that. And then, um, and so then, oh, it's, it's <coughs> three records, but we have sort of like the inners, one like that and like that. There's the band there. So lots of artwork here. Okay, so let's uh, see what the vinyl looks like and if there are any extras. Okay, we take this out. And uh, here we have, <laughs> uh, in a nice little plastic sleeve and uh, not, uh, <laughs> Holding on there, very good, but I guess that's okay. Here we have the infamous, yes. And uh, classic sort of Warner's look there. All right, I'll just put that off to the side there. Okay, so that's uh, what's in the first, first one there. And then in the second one, uh, we do have a, an insert. Okay. New single on Warner Brothers. And even more liner notes. Oh, very nice. And uh, this is a fan's note by uh, Bill Holdship, a uh, former editor of Cream and Bam magazine and longtime contributor to Mojo. So that's nice. Okay, so we have the paper sleeves, but um, are they polylined? Um, not quite. No, they're not polylined. Okay, and that, I think we got to look on the label there, so we'll just put that over there. <clears throat> and then last but not least, oh, and uh, gosh, I think we've even maybe got some, oh, no, it's just more of the sort of the design that, of the back that kind of goes through here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, so that's what the vinyl looks like. And then just kind of the graphic uh, on the back that sort of continues in here. Like that. I don't know if you can see that very well. Oh, okay. So very nice. Now these don't appear to open up on the back here, but 
So I'll take, yeah, it just seems to be almost the same design uh, that's actually on the inside as well. Okay, so there you have it. <laughs> and let's take a look at the second reissue. This is Alice Cooper Killer in the 50th anniversary edition. And according to Rolling Stone, one of the finest rock and roll albums released in 1971. The original album remastered a previously unreleased live 1972 show and unreleased alternative tracks, features chart hits Be My Lover and Under My Wheels, and a recreation of the calendar uh, included in the original packaging, which I certainly remember. And certainly that calendar always seems to be missing if you find a used copy of it. Nine times out of ten, the calendar's not there. Somebody would have put it up on their wall or whatever. Okay, and this is going to be similar uh, in packaging, maybe not as many sort of goodies and things like that. But yeah, this, these are nice reissues, nice. Uh, okay, I don't want to completely wreck the hype sticker there. Because yes, as you well know, I do save the hype sticker. Okay. Another great Alice Cooper album. Here's the track listing there. And uh, this one then folds out like this. And then this is more like a trifold gate. Tons of liner notes. And some extra pictures there. Okay, let's open up what we have in the first one. And then right off the top, I believe, yes, we have the, uh, the calendar. Uh, with the dates there, and that should be from uh, 1972. And then on the back of the calendar, they have this, uh, more uh, liner notes and more of the credits and photography. So that's on the back there. And this is a killer of fans note, and this one, again, from Bill uh, Holdship. Okay, very nice. And then uh, for this, now this one has polyline sleeves. Interesting, Schools Out doesn't have polyline sleeves, but uh, Killer does. Uh, that seems a little odd. And so we have, there we have that. Isn't that odd? Okay, and then on the middle one. Got that. I'll just put that over there. And then last but not least, we've got that. And I don't know if there's any other booklets or anything like that uh, included uh, other than the calendar. I <laughs> here's, here's me looking inside here, you know, wondering, it's almost like <laughs> A kid getting a you know birthday card and wondering if there's anything extra in there. So yeah, that's interesting though that uh, this the killer has uh, polyline sleeves, but schools out does not. And there you go for whatever reason. Okay, so that is uh, going to do it. This is going to be some great listening. Really looking forward to the live stock live stuff and i hadn't realized that there were some alternate tracks uh, included on here side six on schools out has a schools out single version gutter cat single version alma mater alternative version and elected early take and uh, on killer we have for the alternate uh, takes or alternate tracks we have you drive me nervous under my wheels and dead babies there you go it's going to be some fun listening. Uh, Alice Cooper and Killer and Alice Cooper and School's Out. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much uh, for, for watching and uh, hopefully everybody's doing okay out there and uh, we'll chat again soon. Do take care. Bye-bye.